Thanks for the ride. How did it look? Look good. Thanks for the ride. <laughs> So we came to Matagorda Beach and we went to, uh, I think it's called Three Mile Split. I'll have to look it up. But we tried to go down to a place a little further, uh, but the sand was just too, too soft. So we're going to try to go back to a spot earlier that was along beach, uh, a little bit further down Beach Road that. Uh, we saw some people catching flounder. Uh, mosquitoes are real bad right now. Looks like the waves have picked up. Uh, the wind's picked up since this morning. Uh, so we'll just go try it at another spot. It's cool to come down here. I just don't think we can make it through the real soft sand. Uh, we kind of stayed where people had kind of comp compacted it down. And even getting off of that got real, real uh, shady. See, we got guys pulling up beside us. Oop, getting soft. So, we we're engaged in four-wheel drive uh, on the uh, on the beach, but now we're gonna now we hit concrete again. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go from drive. I'm gonna put it in park, and I believe I go to neutral, and then from there I can disengage the four-wheel drive put it in drive and it's disengaged it's 10 o'clock right now it's supposed to get rain around noon um, so at least we're not on the sand anymore that sand was sketchy driving in it I got to where I was almost barely going and the all-wheel drive did okay though it got us out so we'll see we'll try it again so let's go find another place Diego all right so now that we're out here, we found another spot. Me and Diego are gonna do a little bit of a competition. We're gonna see who can catch the most fish. We're using dead bait and uh, just a little bit, a little lead, leader with a sinker and uh, we'll see who wins. I already have my line in the water. He told me to line. film. He I already have my line in the water, so we'll see if I get a head start. Uh, we're using dead shrimp, by the way. Well, looks like I'm up one to nothing here. That doesn't count. Well, it does count, but like, I mean, that's not fair because I had to set up my thing and you told me to get the camera for you. So. There you go. It's uh, one to zero. I can't hurry. So, croaker to start it off with. Oh, you got a piggy perch. Nice. One, one. I got a little one. What is this? Piggy perch. Piggy perch. All right, so look, you're gonna go put through here and through the head. See how? See how oh, now? The hook. Now the hook's not gonna come off. Okay. Okay. Here you go. Good luck, buddy. You just gotta throw it out there and wait. I feel like once you're on camera, you're much nicer. Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> what do you, you mean nice? You what do you out. mean nicer? No, because you, you said. Right, good luck, buddy. You might have said that off camera. Well, how would I? What would I say? You would. You, I don't know. You said you would probably say three to one or something like that. Oh, okay, three. Oh, it is three. Is it three to one or is it more than three to one? Okay. No, mosquitoes. no mosquitoes. Not one bite. Man, they already got it. <laughs> but that's a good sign because at least they're biting, you know. All right, let's get him. Real close, just right there. Come on, come get it. Yep. You really want a flounder, huh? Yeah. What is what is it doing? No, I think I feel. No, I'm no, I'm talking about the the mullet. Yeah. No, just just keep your line tight, cause if that flounder comes along, he's gonna hit it. He's gonna look, he's gonna grab it and he's gonna sit down with it. Okay? And it's gonna be a couple few, you know, maybe 10, 15 seconds, sometimes 20, and then he'll grab the whole thing and he'll run with it. 
but you'll feel them. It's not gonna be a light tap or nothing. That mullet, it's not gonna be hard heads or anything hitting that mullet. It's gonna be something good. So you'll feel it, you just gotta be ready. Keep your line tight. You might have to sit there for 20 minutes to, before you get any hit or anything. You can pull it back in to see. I got something tiny hitting on it, like a, you got it? That might be a crab. Try some dead shrimp again. I think we need more dead shrimp. Yeah. We can run up there and get some more. I got like a little piggy perch or something hitting on mine. It's tiny. The horn got you? Oh, it was the shell. They're just, they just nibble, nibble, nibble. So they nibble it. There might be two or three of them nibbling on the same thing. I'm gonna change it up a little bit. Trying out a new spot. That wasn't high tide, it's just when the boats run by, it caused the waves. Show me what you're doing. Come here, come show me what you're doing. So how do you peel? How are you peeling it? Just taking off the shell, like this. Pulling it off like this, I go from the bottom to the top. Toss it away. I take off the tail. Well, actually, I didn't really do that right, but someone did right. So why do you do that? So, because you told me to. <laughs> it's so that when it hits it, yeah. it doesn't have to go through the shell. It can set the hook easier. Got one? Let's go get on the other side of this thing right here. See right here? Yeah, yeah I'm okay. <laughs> I think I hurt my knee. Seriously? I don't know, it was tough. I didn't have no hands to stop from falling. It was like slow motion. Everything was like slow motion. Man, that's a good side. Let me see. Oh, that's cool. Very cool. You like this spot, huh? Hey, let me let me get let me get close over there because I gotta get him get him out off. So we're heading back to three mile cut. Uh we fished up and down uh, the main strip in Matagorda Bay to get to the beach, but now we're gonna head back to Three Mile Cut and see if the mosquitoes aren't as bad. Now we got some more bait too, so I'm gonna try it again. Um, I'm gonna catch a small croaker, small speckled trout throughout the day, little here and there, but I'd like to get to some place protected because the wind's getting worse and see if we can uh, catch some more before we head home. It's about one o'clock. I'd like to maybe head home around five. So hopefully we can catch a few more fish before we do that. So I'm pulling out these tracks because I think I'm about to get stuck. The adventure continues. Yeah. Oh no, he wanted to go get bitten by mosquitoes. Told him. Uh-uh. Heading back home? No, I'm heading back to the not the beach part. Oh. $30 tracks don't fail us now. I'm joking, they're not $30. Right? Nah, I think they were like, I think they were like a hundred. Oh wait, watch your step. 
because he almost fell earlier. See if we can help those other people. it back and then I can make sure that that thing guides underneath. back of it we try out but I don't think she wants to go backwards and try put her back up but she doesn't she thinks she's gonna get dug deeper so so I was trying to help the lady out with the with the tracks we couldn't get it out with the tracks though and then somebody brought a shovel somebody brought a shovel so one of the guys that she was with, I started shoveling. He just sat there and watched me. I was like, okay. So once I got the back dug out, I told her, I was like, all right, we can try it now. And 
she's like, oh, I'll probably just get deeper. I was like, okay, well, there's not much else I can do to help you then. So, on our way. What is it? Oh, what? Wow. Big old croaker. Got you one. Keep it? No, you let him go. Come on, get back. Here he goes. So we're out here at the boat harbor in Matagorda. I think it's about to, probably going to be our last stop of the day before we head home. Uh, but this is where all the boats go through. We still have a bunch of shrimp, but probably about another pound of shrimp. So we're going to try to go through that before we head home. And Diego caught some uh, mullet using a little bucket and a piece of shrimp on the rocks. So we're going to try to use the mullet up too. Overall, it's been a good day. That's cool. First, first cast, huh? Got a croaker. So one thing my dad taught me when I was little was that what you do is take the head off of the shrimp when you're using dead bait, pinch the tail, and you pull this little shell off that's here. And what that'll do is it'll make it to where that's uh, easier for when you set the hook it comes right through it doesn't have the shell on the outside to kind of protect it and pull it off so that's what I do is put the hook right through and now when I go to set the hook the hooks right there what you got keep reeling keep that rod tip up Wow, that's a nice, nice croaker, yep. Yep. That's a nice one. Headed back home. Had a blast with Diego today. It was so much fun. Uh, at the very end, I didn't have time to hit the report cord button but I had hooked a big giant flounder, I mean a big flounder. And I was trying to tell Diego to turn on the camera and I lost him. I got to see him, Diego got to see him, but we lost him. Barely. So, <laughs> a myth. But, a myth. Yeah. So it'll go down as a myth, but we had a blast. It's time to get home. It's actually seven o'clock. We wanted to leave by five so we don't have to drive in the dark, but we just stayed, we couldn't leave. We kept wanting it more and more and more and more. So. We'll be coming back. We bought the beach pass, so that's it for today. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Uh, we'll try to do more of them. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Diego, for filming. Yeah, you're welcome.
Thank you for taking me.